The ZKJIP45 on display is one of six airworthy Polykarpov I-16s in the world. Recovery expeditions and restorations were funded by Sir Tim Wallace. It is believed that this plane was manufactured in 1939 for the Leningrad Fighter Squadron of the Baltic Fleet Air Force, which defended Leningrad during Germany's two and a half year blockade of that city. The plane's journey from Russia to the United States began when it was found in a frozen grave north of St. Petersburg. Remnants of five other I-16s and three Polykarpov I-153s were found farther north in Karelia. In October 1992, salvage from the I-16s was transported to the Aeronautical Research Bureau and plant in Siberia, where more than 1,300 of the original I-16s were produced. Much of Polykarpov's design data and manuals had been preserved. Russian aeronautical experts, following Polykarpov's original specifications, combined original components from the wreckage with replacement parts they either built or bought from other factories. Each plane's history was researched. Markings and color schemes were faithfully reproduced. Wallace and his chief engineer, Ray Mulqueen, discovered that engines almost identical to those used in I-16 Type 24s and I-153s were being used in Russian's Antonov AN-2 biplanes. When installed in the 20-foot-long fighters, they produced remarkable speed. The first successful test flight of the restored I-16 took place September 9, 1995. Over the next three years, the factory restored six Polykarpov I-16s and three I-153s. As the Russians approved each aircraft, its parts were disassembled, crated, and transported from Siberia to New Zealand. After 70 years, Polykarpov's I-16 had gone full circle. Pilots who tested the restored I-16 Type 24s responded favorably. They reported that the fighter was remarkably stable and easy to control, contrary to criticism leveled at it throughout the years. They were impressed with the fighter's performance and agility. The plane's reputation as a pugnacious little donkey still applied. <laughs>